Okay, in today's tutorial we're going to have a look at how we can set up and gain access to the Google Keyword Planner. Um, and we're going to try and do that without having to provide um, credit card or billing information. So this is mainly there for people that want to maybe get access to the tool, um, but not run an AdWords campaign as such. So we're not going to be going through how to set up AdWords and going through the particulars for that. We're going to be talking about how do you get access to Google's Keyword Planner tool. So this will allow you to search for particular keywords and queries and get ideas on how many people are searching for those particular queries each month, but it will also allow you to find new ideas on what people might be searching in Google um, and what you might be able to target using search engine optimization. The one requirement that you need for this is to have a Google account. So I have set one up and once you have a Google account, you can then just go to Google AdWords and what we're going to do is follow the steps. I'm signing in. Okay, so once you've signed in to the account with your Google account, it will try and take you through this um, guide here that will set up your account. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip all that and click on this area here, experienced with Google Ads. Okay, the next step is to then click, we wanna create an account without a campaign. Okay, and in terms of the business information, I'm going to leave this as is. Um, you, can change, uh, you can't change the settings later, so if you are running this as a genuine long-term account, then you'll want to spend more attention and pay more attention, perhaps. Okay, so I'm in. I haven't had to put in my billing information. And what you should see here is that you now have access, if you look, click on the wrench at the top, you will have access to the Google Keyword Planner. Okay, so now it's logged us in and you can see that there's two basic paths that you can take with the Keyword Tool. I'm not gonna go into any great detail or go through the features um, in this particular instance, but you can essentially have two, two choices. One is to add keyword ideas and then it will, or examples, and it will give you other thoughts of what it thinks are relevant to those particular queries that you you seeded. And the second version or pathway, if you like, is that you can just provide a list of a whole long list of keywords that you have and just get direct volume data in terms of how many searches, cost per click, and, and data relating to those specific terms. So just to show it in action, if I am a plumber um, based in Colchester, then I would type in plumbers in Colchester, maybe. Oops and you can put a comma here to delimitate that um, emergency plumbers and you can choose whatever you want hopefully you can type better than me and here we go <clears throat> so in here We've now got a list, there's the plumbers in Colchester and emergency plumbers Colchester that I put in and it gives you a, a indication of what the average monthly searches you will get. It gives you a lot of information about the paid search side of things, I competition levels from a paid search perspective um, and the, the expected range of bid that you'd be likely to pay for a top page bid high and low ranges. And then below the two terms that I've added, um, you're then able to see other suggestions that were made. And you can obviously use this tool to, to then build up a, um, a list of different keywords that you think are relevant to you and what you're trying to um, achieve. Okay, so that is a whistle-stop tour of the Google Keyword Planner, um, as well as how to first and foremost set it up um, and gain access without actually having to set up a campaign or put in your your card details. Um, in future uh, tutorials what I will do is go through and look at some ways in which you can get more accurate data. You'll see that at the moment it's very vague and broad, 0 to 10 searches a month to 100 to 1000. There's ways in which we can kind of um, uh, get more clarity on the actual numbers. 
um, and therefore get clearer guidance on the expected search volumes that you should see um, each month. Okay, uh, if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and keep in touch for future videos and tutorials.